Okay, what we're going to be making is some Chick-fil-A sandwiches with, uh, of course, some uh, macaroni salad. But just to get this going, you know, we get to our breast and everything, and then we're going to pound those out, you know, to kind of get them more to fit on a bun and everything like that. You just got to kind of get your feel on that, and that mallet, you know. And then you see it just almost doubles in size. And so we'll do all those like that, and then we'll go to gonna, the next step. With all good fried chicken, you always use buttermilk. And you want to let it sit for at least an hour, if you can, because buttermilk has a way of uh, breaking down. It has acids in it, and it breaks down the, the meat of the, the chicken, and it, it gets into it. it, makes it real tender and flavorful. And uh, even as a kid, you know, making chicken started early in the morning just right after breakfast for dinner and we'll go into that as we uh, prepare all of this but right now we're just getting this in buttermilk and let that buttermilk do its trick because this is a really original good southern fried chicken and we're doing a chick-fil-a sandwich see the bubbles coming up it's not even on the the Cooked up, not, not cooked up. What am I trying to say? It's not like there's fire under it. It's bubbling from the buttermilk. That's crazy. It's making it tender. That's crazy. Thing for the chicken that Chef Andrew put together. It looks pretty amazing, but he won't tell me what's in it. Look at him over there. <laughs> I want to know, but he won't say. I mean, I fought. and we let them kind of gum up like I, I like to you know eight hours or more but these only did about an hour and so we're gonna throw these in here and do one at a time and we'll go from there We're gonna butter our buns, we're gonna grill them. We're grilling the chicken. Well, we're